Hello and welcome everyone. Today's tutorial is on Rendezvous. Now you can see we have the Orbiter 1 that is orbiting the planet right now. And uh, we need to get it as close to the Orbiter 1 where it's about to launch as possible. Now, the uh, main thing, I I'm not really too good at this at all. Because I know I don't really do it this way, but this is the first time, so we'll both learn together. Um, I think I'm going to let it get to about right here, and then I'm going to launch. Okay, so let's get this thing going. I got 15 minutes to get to rendezvous, so I better hurry. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are liking the uh, tutorials. Um, it makes me feel pretty good that, like, you know, I've gotten a few comments so far, and I've, you know, gotten a few people into orbit for the first time, and that makes me happy. Uh, you know, if you guys have any other questions on things that you want me to do, this is going to be a long series of tutorials, so don't ask a question about the moon, because we will be going there. Don't ask questions about docking, because it will be done. Um, there's going to be a lot of, I'm probably going to shoot my docking video right after this one. I'll upload both of them together. Let's separate that stage. This thing likes to uh, explode sometimes. Well, not the uh, whole rocket, but um, these things kind of bump into each other. The, uh, these liquid stages and the, uh, yeah, so when they decouple. Um, yeah, so... I'm pretty happy. I got a moon base now, guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys have watched any of my other videos, but yeah, moon base. Um, I'm my next thing is going to be to add on to it, and make it a little bit bigger. Um, and if you noticed, I actually turned my graphics up a little bit compared to my other videos. I, I noticed that my frame rate doesn't really change that much when I bump up the graphics. Um, I am playing on a laptop, so I mean, I don't have like the best laptop but I mean I'm running an i7 with uh, 512 for uh, video but I, I th believe it's on board video I'm not a hundred percent sure so you know whatever um, I'm thinking about I'm, I'm you know taxes are coming soon maybe I'll buy a new computer then I'll, I'll blow all you guys away with outstanding graphics um, yeah so um, Right now, what we're trying to do is get into a orbit, or a slight orbit. Uh, let's look, see what we got going for us right now. Yeah, I don't really use um, the SAS on takeoffs. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Give me a break if you don't like it. I don't care. Um, yeah, so you can see it's a little bit ahead of us, but... We are going faster than it, so, at least not right now, but we will be. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's get this orbit going. Um, like I said, I got 15 minutes to do this, and I will only be doing rendezvous, because I've tested this out a few times, and, uh, to do a whole rendezvous and docking in one episode, it is a bit too much. Not a lot, um, you know. It's like you know, it's like roughly like 20 minutes for me to do that, and uh, I just I, YouTube does not allow me to you know make a video longer than 15 minutes. So you can yell at YouTube, and they, you should say, "Gusexy should have an hour long limit." Um, but in other news, um, I'm thinking about upgrading or changing my uh, space station that's around the moon and you know putting some fuel in orbit around the moon uh, I'm gonna put up a video of you know basically just kind of showing you guys what I got there I don't know um, it's not like anything spectacular right now it's just uh, it's basically just a floating you know it's it's just one piece it's like a main core module if you want to call it that where you know it basically doesn't really have anything Ooh, I'm losing altitude. Come on, come on, give me that orbit. There we go. Yay! Space! 
Nice. Next. There we go. Um. Okay, so we want to set this as our target, and um, you can see our these are our ascending and descending nodes. So what that means is our orbit is slightly off from our target. So what you want to do is click right where the one either node is, because that's like basically the the tilting point of your orbit, and you want to adjust that to where it's at zero zero. So that is perfect right there. Now I hope I don't have enough speed to where I pass this thing because that wouldn't be exactly good, especially right now. I'm going to adjust my orbit once I get over here. And uh, yeah. So the closer you are to Kerbin compared to your target, the faster you're going. Like this is moving slower because it's further out. That's one thing I guess I should mention. Um, okay, let's get lined up here for our orbit correction. There we go. Um, now, it's like a three second burn. I don't suggest doing it beforehand. Sometimes I get impatient and I'll just burn beforehand. And, you know, with something like this, it's such a relatively low amount that. Even if you mess it up, you can use the RCS to fix it. So, it should be good now. Um, I don't like how it locks it up where you can't see it. You know, it's perfect. Okay, so I am going to set up a burn right here. And I'm going to burn out to 120. Like, um, you know, like the other spacecraft. Get it as close as possible. Um... Was that 120? Come on. Uh, you know, one thing they really gotta fix is uh, they gotta really show you where they gotta remove some of this stuff or you know separate it out better because you know you can see where those periods are. That's where it's gonna tell me what it is that I need to uh, what what the altitude is gonna be at in that specific area or what the uh, height of the orbit is gonna be. I should say. Um, Okay, we're up to eight minutes, so I gotta hurry. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. As you can see, our our um, you know, this changed over from target as a, compared to orbit or surface. When you're when you have a lo locked up target in space, the minute you start getting really close to it is when it changes over to target. So ignore what that says. Everything what that says because it's not true. Um, okay, come on. Yeah, okay, 121 is good. Uh, okay, let's speed this up. And I might pass it, which isn't going to be the best thing. The distance that you're seeing is a distance between, you know, this total distance right here. I could just burn towards it at 35, but I really don't want to do that because that is just a little bit too much for me to, uh, that's not, to me, that's not very good to do something like that. Now I'm going to correct on the other side. So that one is at 120 as well. So I'm going to set up a burn real quick just to, you know, figure out where my where it is on my nav ball because it's still on the target. Um, change this around. There we go. Whoa. Come on, RCS. There we go. Yeah, save it. I hate it when it goes speeding past like that. And you're just like, come on, stop, 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 stop. Okay. So, boom. Right there. We do our burn. A little bit. All right. It's going up. There we go. That's what she said. Uh, X. That's good. We're on the outside of it now, basically. So, we're looking in. Um, now, this thing is going to start coming at us in, compared to us going past it. Because we are further out than it is. If you see our velocity on our target craft is that. And this is our velocity. As you can see, it's slightly slower. You don't need to go barreling at something at crazy speeds because it really doesn't make any sense. You're wasting tons of fuel doing something you really 
yeah, it, it's pretty simple. As you can see, I, it's only been at about an, almost, it's probably going to be about two hour f flight time, not a two hour video. So, you know, you just use the speed, the time warp feature. And if you look, it's just moving t towards us. You don't really need to do anything and just let it get closer and closer. That's all you need to do. Um, come on. Come on. All right. Now it is. It's actually close enough to where it is loaded on our screen, basically. You know, like you can see it. And it should be slightly above, uh, below us. It's going to be a little bit below us. I when One thing you got to wrap your mind around when it comes down to docking and rendezvous is there's no up, there's no down, there's no left, and there's no right. And that's one thing that really kind of just drove me insane doing this. Because um, you just, like, you're trying to get towards your target and you just can't. Wow, the frame rate kind of got bad there for a second. Um, well, where is our target? Uh, I don't see it. It's gone. It blew up. Um, it should be underneath us somewhere. I don't see it. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, I was doing screenshots last night. I'm going to go to sp Space Center. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the video. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, show, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess this game does, in Fraps does not like it when you uh, change any of the settings. So you can see we are a thousand meters away from our target. So what you want to do is turn f towards the target. We have to reset it as a target. There we go. And this right here is your target right here. This pink circle is your target. That is where you're heading to. Now, what you want to do is because we are moving through the craziness of space is you want to just kind of burn a slight bit ahead of it now you know just a tiny bit not a lot now you don't want to do a huge burn when you're only a thousand meters away from something you don't want to do a huge burn because it's just not worth it you're gonna oh oh crap yeah Speaking of doing a huge burn, I just, you know, did something that uh, I was just talking about. I should be paying more attention to the game and less to, uh, you know, yeah. Um, anyways, you, you want to burn towards your retrograde because your retrograde is based off of where your target is located. Now, as you can see, I just wasted a lot of fuel. And a lot of people will do this orbital dance that I like to call it where... Basically, they just keep burning towards their target, and they don't actually burn towards the retrogrades. The retrograde and prograde are based off your target. They are not in any way affiliated or have anything to do with your orbit at all in what any way. So when your nav ball changes, that means it's changed to have to do with your target, not your orbit. That That is one major thing that... I had to find out myself now as you can see we are getting really close to this thing and you want to keep it on the retrograde you want to use your your main engine to just do a lot of your maneuvering and there we go now you turn on RCS and figure out if you use your I J K L and key L keys and your H and N H and N control your um, H and N control you know your forwards and backwards and they all all the other keys they control where you're moving basically so right now we are moving away from the target and if you see look I'm hitting um, the H I J K and L and if you see my prograde it's changing it's moving and that's from me pushing the keys I'm not actually doing any maneuvering whatsoever so right now we are moving away from the target another good thing I need to tell you guys is do not use a lot of RCS thrusters. It is not worth it. Putting more RCS does not give you a better craft. But anyways, we will be showing docking in the next episode. So thank you for watching.